Welcome to Haltech Elite NSP Training Part 12. This training tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at setting up a throttle position sensor as well as other linear position sensors such as shock travel sensor. Without further wait, let's jump in so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at setting up linear position sensors within our Haltech Elite systems using our NSP software. The most common type of linear position sensor is going to be a throttle position sensor. That's going to be translating our throttle blade movement between zero being fully closed and 100% being fully open. We need to track what's going on with our throttle blade movement because things like idle control are relative all to throttle position. So if we're at 0% throttle, so we're not going to be having any input from our actual gas pedal in the car, that means we should be in idle conditions. If we're driving and let's say we go to a 0% throttle condition and the car is moving, we want to go into what's known as overrun fuel cut. That's going to be shutting off the injector for fuel economy purposes. It also improves drivability coming on and off throttle. And then other things we can tag on to throttle position would be things like a full throttle timer that looks at what's going on with our throttle position at, let's say, full throttle. We can start a timer that's going to go in and turn something on or turn something off. We also have transient throttle, which is going to be the rate of change or delta throttle movement that's going to be essentially tracking airflow bursts coming into our engine that the main fuel table, main VE airflow model, cannot account for because it's all for steady state airflow correlation. So when we're dealing with a throttle position sensor, it needs to be calibrated correctly. This is one of the most fundamental sensors next to something like a map pressure sensor and your cam and crank sensors that has to be calibrated. It's actually incredibly easy to do this. So we're gonna go through in the beginning of the tutorial here how to go in and calibrate a basic throttle position sensor for a cable driven system. So this is not going to be covering drive by wire throttle control. We're gonna have a separate tutorial how to do the calibration process there because there's both a pedal and plate sensors that need to be calibrated and it's very unique in that process. So it's not going to be the same. This is just taking a look at doing um, a basic cable driven throttle position sensor. Let's jump in here and take a look at how we're going to do this. Now one thing I wanna mention here, I am in this Spark page right here and we're taking a look at all of our various parameters that we can see reading in our screen. We're going to find throttle position right now. I am off the throttle and it's reading 0%. The problem with this, even though it seems to be accurate, is it's not actually tracking the true position of my, my throttle movement. So meaning there's a voltage to percentage throttle opening that isn't calibrated correctly. Now, Haltech will actually do the calibration for us, but we need to go to the proper setup screen in order to make sure that's calibrated right. So for example, right now, I'm actually pressing on the throttle ever so slightly, and you're finding that the throttle position here isn't moving because it's not looking at the voltage in terms of a percentage reference up to a certain point, and right now the calibration scale is actually off. So I need to go calibrate things specifically, and most importantly, for my 0% throttle movement and on, I need to have that tracking properly because things like idle control and overrun fuel cutoff are going to hinge upon our throttle position being calibrated on the 0% position. Now, full throttle matters as well. We wanna go through and calibrate both positions, min and max, but the 0% or off throttle is going to be the most important in terms of how it can affect the way that the car drives. All right, let's take a look at how we can actually set this up. Super, super easy. So we're gonna move from our Spark tab here over to our main tab. Here we'll go over into our navigation tree. Then we'll move into our sensor option. Under sensors, we can see that throttle position here is toggled on. We're gonna to have throttle position turned on for pretty much every application. I would not recommend to try to tune your engine without a throttle position sensor. It will not run properly, specifically in re relation to the transient throttle or the throttle movement you're not gonna find that it has good clean throttle response because we can't track that delta throttle or movement in throttle over time without having a throttle position sensor. Even if you don't care about doing things with idle control, you definitely need it for that simple fact of transient throttle. But either way, it's turned on right here, my, my base calibration, and we're gonna be working with this. So we wanna make sure that that is toggled on. Let's jump into our sensors drop down here and go into throttle position. And here, we're gonna find, we have a couple different things to talk about. Um, specifically, looking here, we have a calibration scale. This is going to be the voltage to percentage throttle movement, and then it's going to have a min and a max position here. So minimum volt, the lowest volts we'll find here, 0% throttle, 
3.5 volts would be 100% throttle. So this is a linear scale, pretty straightforward, a linear scale between these two points, minimum voltage, maximum voltage. Now notice here, it's actually reading about 0.61 volt when I'm off the throttle. Remember before, I was going and actually just giving a little bit of throttle input. And when I was doing that, it wasn't picking up any of my throttle movement because it's not looking for anything until one volt according to a 0% actual value of throttle movement. So I was going here just very slightly moving the throttle between probably 0.6 to maybe 0.95 volt, and it wasn't picking up that initial bit of travel movement in my throttle position sensor, and that's because I haven't calibrated it right. So we wanna make sure we are getting it calibrated right and that the true 0% is reflective of the actual off-throttle voltage that we're finding. So the min and max need to be set up. Now we could do this manually, I could literally go in here and take a look. Okay, I'm off the throttle completely. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.